Things become so much clearer once you detach. Though I guess I was always detached. I needed this. Expectations are always high. We live in a competitive world, they tell me. At the same time you're expected to succeed, it's expected of you to fail. How many times you hear a variation of, there's always someone better out there. I was never really part of what they were anyways. It was always, do this, do that. Well, I'm done with it. With them. There was always this loneliness, even around friends. Everybody's always wanting things, always expecting. Couldn't stand it anymore. It's better by myself. It's amazing how quickly things start going your way. I got a good job, I got a girl, and both a lot easier than I expected. It was all working out for me, and I liked it. Everybody probably expected me to start doing drugs the moment I left. Well, I didn't disappoint them. My father makes money. That's his job. He was born middle class and he remains middle class. He's mediocre. And he'll die mediocre and never even realize it. and he needs and he feels some things, but he doesn't live. Everything he does is for me, my little brother and my half-sister. Where does he figure into the picture? I mean, at the end of the day, who's juvenile? Me? Or the ones that are too comfortable to question? The ironic thing, when I think about it, is that people might mistake what I'm doing for some kind of childlike rebellion. When things change, we change to better. We've become a society where the simple act of leaving a square of concrete impresses, and being sick of expectations amuses. Not following the much too precise road outlined for me from even before I was born seems surreal. All I'm doing is what is right for me and my way. I've always hated materialism. People get judged by what they've got, what kind of advertisement they are. There's no rawness anymore, no reality. steer away from comfort. Comfort is coming to mean having or being things that people expect will make them comfortable. That's why I break away. 
I'm not self-destructive or sadistic. If I were, I wouldn't have left. I just want freedom to feel things my way. Not follow that stupid little road everyone follows. It sounds cliche, but I just can't trust anymore what I connect to. The only way is to steer clear of any attachment. Look, I'm no monk. No medieval priest, no self-righteous evangelist. Can you start over without losing anything? I guess I just arrived at the point where I understand that to feel is beyond the point. When things change, we change to better. Feeling just stop mattering. I bet back home they wept for me for a while. Now they're probably over it. If they ever really loved me, even in their robotic way, they'll be happy for me now. On the surface, I might be a wreck, but if they really know me, they'll know I'm happy. I saw him tighten the rubber around his left arm. I couldn't stop him, though. I wasn't there. I stretched my arm out to help him. He smiled. He could feel it. Down to every single little fingertip. He closed his eyes, and so did I. I tried to see the star-filled sky through the ceiling. I'm pretty sure I did. I heard a scream coming from the neighbor's house again. Funny what people put up with. I tried to tell him, but he was just staring at the spark's reflection off the dirty spoon, drawn to that one small light source in the room. She'll be all right, he thought. It's just a beating. I threw up. He did too. I noticed we're skinnier. I scratched the wall. I tried to get out. I can't. We went to get some cigarettes. On the way back, I leaned against the neighbor's door, checked if I could hear anything. Quiet. It's been a few hours. She's probably blaming herself by now. I want to leave. He's already sleeping. And I won't remember all the things I want to say to him tomorrow. But then again, <laughs> he probably wouldn't listen anyway. <laughs>